Hello everyone and welcome to another Gas Buddy video. Summer is over. It's getting a little depressing here in Chicago. The sun is going down earlier than seven o'clock. In fact, it's probably going down right now. But today's topic, for those of you who've heard, summer gasoline and winter gasoline. Today's the day, actually. Let's see here. Yep. September 16th. Did you know today is the first day that stations can go back to winter gasoline? I know it doesn't sound real exciting, right? Summer, winter, is this made up? Why do we have to do this? Those are some of the questions we're going to cover for you today on this video all about summer and winter gasoline. And today, like I said, is the day. It's September 16th. It's not really Christmas. It's not a COVID party. It's the day we switch back to cheaper winter gasoline. So, first of all, why are there two different types of gasoline? What world do we live in where we need this different gasoline depending on what time of the year? Well, that's a good question. Um, bottom line is that summer and winter gasoline were required back in 1990, actually 1989, President Bush signed something into law called the Clean Air Act. What that did was establish that gasoline had to clean up its act in order to be utilized in some of the biggest cities across the country here in Chicago, LA, New York, St. Louis, uh, New York City, Boston. And that was to reduce smog because if you remember back in the 90s, I sure don't, but there was a lot more airborne pollution in the summer. We still have ozone action days and that's why they tell you not to fill up on those hottest days because there still are emissions that can be given off evaporation that contribute to smog. And that's why we have two different types of summer gasoline depending on what time of year it is. We go summer gasoline from June 1st through September 15th, which was yesterday. And now today it's the first day of winter gasoline, or you could call it non-summer gasoline for simplicity. So again, this traces back, well, really before the Clean Air Act in the late 80s, a company called Arco Petroleum in California decided to market and create a gasoline that was reformulated to cause less pollution. Other companies started to do the same. Then a year later in 1990, the Clean Air Act amendment set emissions requirements, which Bush signed shortly thereafter. Uh, it's the same law, actually, that banned CFCs, those ozone-depleting uh, canisters. So you'll remember that CFCs have been banned, and that's when summer gasoline started up. The final legislation for that required this cleaner gasoline, and now it's fallen to the EPA that requires this cleaner gasoline. So basically, what's summer gasoline then? It's a cleaner version of gasoline. There's higher quality components, basically um, it's alkalate, which kind of sounds like alcohol. It's a higher quality component. There's more alkalate in summer gasoline. Because it's higher quality and doesn't emit as much pollution or evaporation, it costs more. Uh, and that's why you tend to see higher prices associated with the summer gasoline. Not only that, but if you paid attention to our blog yesterday, which covered what areas across the country have to use even more stringent types of summer gasoline. In California, I'm sure you've probably noticed prices are sky high because California also has more stringent, the most stringent requirements across the country. And that's why California's gas prices always take the cake. Not only that, but California is the only state that isn't switching back to cheaper winter gasoline. Of course, California is very warm. And so California switches back, depending on where you are, Northern California switches back at the end of September, down in LA, San Diego, they switch back at the end of October. So then what's winter gasoline? Well, winter gasoline is basically just non-summer gasoline. Uh, the cheaper ingredient in winter gasoline is butane. But the problem with butane is not that it's plentiful, it is cheap, but it emits more air pollution and it also is more stable in the winter. So more butane in winter gasoline, cheaper, more alkalate in summer gasoline, more expensive and that's why winter gasoline is cheaper than summer so get ready are you ready for prices to fall a little bit more because like i said today's the first day of winter gasoline and so prices should continue moderating although if you notice the price of oil is up today 
So it may take a couple of weeks, but we should overall see prices fall down. Now, one other big takeaway, of course, not only can winter gasoline save you money, except California, where you're going to switch in a few weeks. But if you've noticed or haven't noticed, Gas Buddy has a program that can save you 20 cents a gallon. Actually, it's up to 40 cents if you use the premium with Gas Buddy product. Sign up for our pay card. It links to your checking account. It's free. And then you don't even have to pay the retail price anymore. To check that out, visit pay.gasbuddy.com. Like I said, we also have premium, which is a terrific program that saves you even more money uh, every month. And also you can get it with roadside assistance, which is terrific. It's only 10 bucks a month. So check out pay.gasbuddy.com to sign up for gas savings. Like I said, now we're going to be on winter gasoline for a long time, obviously, until next spring. I'm going to be hopeful that by next spring, we aren't in this coronavirus pandemic, but that's really the difference between summer and winter gasoline. And the good news is now that winter gasoline is back. I know there's a hurricane, Sally, out there. Not going to make a whole lot of an impact on prices, but now that we have winter gasoline, it makes everything more simple. Uh, if you go to our blog post from yesterday, you'll see that all across the country, depending on where you are, there's all these little different types of summer gasoline that are in use. It's not just the same for everyone. Here in Chicago, we use reformulated summer gasoline for simplicity. In Detroit, you use a different type of gasoline, which is different than what most other people use. It's actually really complex, and that's why prices can shoot up in the summer, because there's all these local varieties of different types of gasoline. So there you have it. That's the myth and exposed information about summer and winter gasoline. We'll see you back here for another video soon. Until then, stay safe, gas buddy friends.